Namaste. After knowing the significance of urine therapy, people often ask the question, if Shivambu is so awesome, why is it not supported by science? People do ask me a question, why my general practitioner doctor tell me to use my urine? Why don't these specialists advocate urine therapy? Here, first of all, we need to understand urine therapy is totally scientific. In fact, there is no other natural substance in the world which has been researched as much as urine. Historically, the medicinal use of urine was quite well known throughout the world. There are many reports that date back thousands of years which extol the virtues of urine both as a diagnostic tool and as a medical treatment for wide variety of diseases, non-healing wounds and different skin disorders. Yet today, after nearly 100 years of consistent and authoritative modern medical research which says urine is one of the simplest, cheapest and most effective medical substance in existence. The vast majority of us including even our own doctors still mistakenly believe that urine is nothing more than a body vest or just a medical diagnostic tool. Actually, urine is a critically important body fluid that has fascinated medical science throughout the centuries. Medical scientists study urine with tremendous intensity because they know that it contains innumerable vital nutrients and thousands of natural elements that control and regulate every function of our body. If I tell you, you will astonish that more than 250 active ingredients are found in human urine which has therapeutically useful actions. More than 44 pharmaceutical drugs that are presently being used in modern medicines which are being manufactured or extracted from human urine. Therefore, where we know it or not, urine does have an extremely important and undisputed place in medicine, not just as a diagnostic tool, but as an ingredient of various synthetic drugs. Till that, there are so many research papers has been published on the use of urine as a medicine in leading medical magazines like JAMA and Science. The magnitude of attention which urine receives is attested by one study. In the research book Urine Analysis in Clinical Laboratory Practice 1972, which talks about the low molecular weights of constituents or substances found in human urine. This particular publication reveals that more than 1000 technical and scientific papers related only to low molecular weight substances in urine appeared in medical and scientific literature in one single year. So it is now recognized that the urine contains thousands of medical compounds and as new and new sensitive uh, analytical tools evolve, it is quite certain that the new constituents of urine will be recognized. Our urine contains hundreds of elements that are manufactured by our body to deal with our personal specific health conditions. Our body is constantly producing huge variety of antibodies, hormones, enzymes and other natural chemicals to regulate and control our body's function and to combat diseases that many of us doesn't know. Modern research and clinical studies has proven that thousands of critical body chemicals and nutrients that end up in our individual urine, which reflects our body's individual functions. That is body function is uh, reflected in our human urine. And then when they are reutilized, they act as natural vaccines, antibacterial, antiviral, anti-cancerous agents. Even it works as a hormonal balancer allergy relievers etc etc. So we shall discuss some of these important urine extracts 
which is in use as a drug in modern day society the first drug which i would like to talk about is urocanus actually urocanus is a urine extract drug which is used to dissolve the dangerous blood clots in our arteries whenever there is a dangerous cardiological or a, a cardiovascular or a neurological infarction this particular drug is used to dissolve the blood clots without causing any side effects so urocanus helps to cure heart disease and improves the blood circulation actually whenever any emergency uh, infarction happens to dissolve those blood clots this particular urocanus injection is used which is drawn out of human urine and one injection in india it costs around 2500 rupees there is one more chinese drug named as cda2 the chinese researchers developed this anti cancer injection and which kills any cancer cells is also made out of human urine one more urine extract drug that is named as pergonol this drug is used in treating infertility actually in august 1993 there is a one magazine named as forbes printed an article about fabio bartarli who owns the world's largest fertility drug mnc company called as aris serino group which is based in geneva whose most important product is the drug pergonol which increases the chances of conception in women the forbes magazine says to make a pergonol aris serino company collects urine samples from 110000 post menopausal women volunteers in italy spain brazil argentina etc so from 26 collection centers in europe this urine is sent to rome and this aris serino company technicians then isolate this ovulation enhancing hormone from a urine and manufactures medicine called pergonol it is reported that company earned millions in sales in 1992 and people pay up so many dollars per month for this urine extract there is a one more infertility drug is which is used is urea polytropin this urea polytropin is fertility drug extracted from human urine so many gynecologists they use all these drugs for infertility problem there is a one more drug named as urea fil which works as a diuretic so people with a urinary incontinence they use this medicine named as urea fil there is a one more ointment which is made out of human urine is purea skin it's an ointment for various skin disorders there is one more drug named as aminoserv it's used for cervical treatments there is a primarin which is one more drug it it's a estrogen supplement it works to balance our hormones there is one more drug or we can say ointment which is used as a penafil for skin ulcers burns infected wounds all these medicines are being used one more most important drug i would like to talk about is antineoplastol actually there is an injection named as antineoplastol one injection costs 1 and 1/2 lakh rupees a multinational pharmaceutical companies makes this injections which is made out of human urine actually this injection is used to dissolve the neoplastic cancerous lesions in our body actually in everybody's body in our body everyone produces this particular hormone named as antineoplastin this particular hormone helps in care of metabolism of the body antineoplastin doesn't allow any deformity in the cells it prevents the growth of neoplastic lesions without harming the growth of healthy cells dr brzezinski from hostel has been working on antineoplastins as a treatment for cancer since 1957 he described it as a substance produced by the living organisms that protects it 
against development of neoplastic growth by a non immunological process which does not significantly inhibit the growth of normal tissues antineoplastone is a peptide that controls the cancer growth in the human body it is claimed that the antineoplastones are able to reprogram cancer cells to restore errors in cellular different differentiation to normal antineoplastone is an agent derived from a human urine which is remarkable for its antineoplastic activity and lack of toxicity this antineoplastone substance are claimed to act as reverse oncogens and transformer of malignant tissue into a normal tissue the body in its defensive mechanism is always producing hormones which like our food these hormones are expelled in the urine the purpose of these hormones is to prevent lesions in the tissues by maintaining the metabolic activity at the cellular level there are certain pharmacy companies collects urine from various people and prepares this antineoplastone injection and we pay the hordes of money to ingest it in our blood we don't even ask question who all have contributed to this injection but at the same time we say we are just disgusted by our own urine use there are many useful medicinal products found in our urine let us discuss one by one first one is urea as we know it's a major component found in urine it is the end product of protein metabolism it dissolves fats and other body secretions and is finally discharged into urine but urea is strong antibacterial agent and specifically prevents the growth of tubercle bacillus it is said that a large quantity of vitamin c intake enhances its effect that is urea is very useful whenever we ingest through urine there is one more component named as uric acid actually we say uric acid is bad for health but whatever quantity we found in urine if we take it back it helps to keep the free radical scavengers under control and we all know that these free radicals are molecules which can cause cancer so it helps to control cancer causing substances also uric acid which is found in urine helps to combat our old age it reverses our aging process uric acid is similar in action to urea and has strong antibacterial properties also in urine we find so many nitrates actually nitrates which are present in urine if they come in contact with the skin or a sweat they react with the acid producing nitrous oxide and which is antibacterial we also know that there are so many minerals found in urine and the minerals from urine can be very easily reabsorbed if reingested and are more efficient compared to those derived from the food urine contains different kinds of useful mineral compounds than those derived from food all the minerals in the biological substances were once absorbed from food processed and then discharged as a surplus in our urine so minerals in urine purify and activate body tissues and helps to rebuild tissues in addition they mobilize the toxins facilitating their excretion one more uh, most specific use of aged urine is that old and aged urine is more alkaline in nature urine becomes turbid if let alone for a while like 7 days 8 days and this is because when enzymes in urine change urea into ammonia and urine becomes unstable and strongly alkaline therefore old urine looks turbid urine with a higher ammonia content when applied to the skin plays an important role in treating various kinds of skin disorders massaging our body with the aged urine improves the oxygenation of the our skin and helps 
to maintain the beauty of our skin and does not allow any wrinkles to come on our skin it reverses aging process of the skin also we see certain cortisols in our urine actually cortisone is a uh, corticosteroid drug uh, which is used in many uh, inflammatory diseases so what the cortisones which are detected in urine counteracts inf inflammatory conditions like allergies and other skin disorders as well as certain joint pains so like this there are many useful medicinal substances found in urine and pharma companies are using this we will not go in detail but i would like to tell you that there is uh, in us there are two major uh, pharmaceutical companies named as porta john and enzymes of america who has public urinals to collect this urine as a liquid gold they collect the urine from these centers and prepare medicines well by listening to this it must be surprising you as it seems urine has an amazing history in traditional as well as modern medicine obviously most of us operating under the gross misconception that urine is a waste but now we understood urine is not waste so hereafter we will not wrinkle our nose at the talk of using our own urine as a medicine in addition to all these medicinal substances urine is an excellent biofeedback it contains the breakdown products of the metabolism of each cell these carry up to date information of exact status of health of each individual cell at the given time so it also contains other products manufactured by the body to counteract the ailment if we have at that particular time we also know urine is a perfect excellent diagnostic agent so whenever any disease person goes to a pharmacologist he does certain pathological tests of a urine so the composition of urine changes from season to season in fact moment to moment lack of sleep grief and the happy moments each influences the composition of urine so if we had a sophisticated instruments to detect each and every product which is present in our urine we would get a perfect scan of functioning of billions of the cells present in the body and perhaps we will know the complex role played by the body to restore health so in conclusion we can say over the years urine therapy has proved to be an effective tool for healing atto urine therapy has been evolved by its practitioners in the clinical situation rather than in the academic establishment largely by their observation of human condition in health and disease and its therapeutic methods have been established by practical experience therefore it is not always possible how it works although most urine therapy procedures do have a sound physiological basis there may however be some statements of urine therapy believers which may can't be supported by a scientific evidence but it would be a far greater mistake to disregard this phenomena simply because we can't yet explain them so here we have understood the enormous medicinal substances found in urine now i hope there is no disgust or any aversion in the mind about urine therapy our urine is a mirror reflection of our own whole body and it will definitely benefit us if we use it as a medicine lastly in summary i can say urine therapy is no more in a experimental stage a lot of research has happened there are so many experienced people talking about the positive effects of urine therapy urine therapy it is the easiest and the best way to maintain our total health however wealthy you may be illness takes its toll prevention is better than cure when we buy a car we get it serviced every 3 months as we have spent thousands on that car but we do not care this body mind vehicle because we got this for free let's maintain and manage this body with wonderful medicine which is flowing out of our body that is urine
थैंक यू